Hello, my friend. This is Meir. I bathe in the ocean today again, and uh, uh, people still look in awe, and I just don't understand why. Those are hot days. What is better than bathing in the ocean, uh, in the cold water, which is not that cold. What is this, 58 Fahrenheit? And then taking a nice cold shower, and then pampered myself with a nice hot bath. It's all nice and dandy. It brings in the cortisols in the body. It really helps the joints. You know, when you're 65 and older, you think about your joints and you want to make sure that they function well. But you know what? When you are eight or six, you should think about them as well. That's the time to work on them so you never have a joint problem. And you know, what you do is what makes you live longer or shorter time. What you do with your body is what you, makes you stronger or weaker. So, everything you do with your joints create evenness in the function, create evenness in the way they move, will help you to never have arthritis. What you do with your muscles, work them in an even way. I saw a lady running with weights. I liked it. So, I said hello to her and suggested for her to lift the weights in many different directions and not just in one way. And she thanked me. And that's exactly what we all need to do, to move things in great variety, something that life does not invite us to do. So if you sit on a chair, stand up and stretch, just like what I said yesterday. Now, when we talk about the immune system, I really want you to hear my message. COVID-19 could be one of many COVIDs which are going to come our way. Many kind of viruses can get to us. And to be scared of every virus and to think that it's going to cause us irreparable harms, which, you know, does happen sometimes, like, for example, with the polio virus, is a mistake. The mistake is to think about the virus and not about our immune system. Even uh, when we take a vaccine, it basically gives us a little bit of the virus so the immune system will arrange itself to attack it. Eventually, all goes back to the immune system. And there is nothing as good as releasing it so it will work to its fullest capacity. Yes, here and there you're going to find some people, no matter what you'll do with them, they have a weak or compromised immune system. But even they need to work on it. But you and I, and 99.9% .9 of humanity, wherever you are, and I know that this message goes to all four corners of the world, wherever you are, wherever I am, the number one thing you need to do is strengthen your immune system. How do you do it? by creating balance within your autonomic nervous system, making sure that the uh, sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system work in harmony. It doesn't happen to the modern person because we have so many worries and they're long term when basically our nervous system is more built for worries in short term. Things just don't go away. Death in the family, economical worries, lawsuits, conflicts, it all stays with us. We need to find a way to relax. And that is why my work with the autonomic nervous system is so important. Because if you create balance, between the sympathetic, which is the active nervous system, and the parasympathetic, which is more the passive and digestive system, you are starting to move forwards for a good immune system. And as the professor who was talking with me, Professor Eric Pepper, who I really, really admire and appreciate, was talking, it's good to be in the sun, it's also good to take small doses of vitamin D. It's good to take small doses of vitamin E. 
small doses of zinc, small doses of vitamin C, and make sure you're not allergic to any of those. And you should consult with a nutritionist to be sure that you're doing the right thing. But in general, ideally, if you are not uh, allergic to any of those, take them in small doses. Also, daily exercise. Not to the extent that you tire the body, so then the joints ache and the muscles ache. That's not a good idea. Some exercises make a big difference, just like the one that I'm teaching in my book, Awakening Your Power of Self-Healing, and in my workshops. So I think it is so important that we do it, and I'm so happy and so lucky that I can teach people exercises even in workshop. So changes can come. I'm seeing it in this small, wonderful girl I'm working right now who did not even have periphery in her upper quadrant of her left eye, and now she built it up, who had very weak pupils that now became stronger, and whose vision is getting slowly but surely better and better. That happens to people with vision problems. It happened to the countless polio patients I worked with, as you can read in my book, Movement for Self-Healing. It happened to so many people with multiple sclerosis I worked with. It happened to me, and it can happen to you. We all need this practice. And I'm looking forward to talk to you again, and I want you to practice life. Life means movement. Life means variety. You will love life much more this way, no matter what your circumstances are. Much love to all of you, Meir.